Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Um, I wanted to share this one email with you before I lay down. It's just 9.44 a.m., but I'm just so sleepy. I just can't hardly keep my eyes open. But this is just reading something to you, and I'll link it, and whether you want to check it out further or not is up to you. Okay? Uh, first is the link, and then she says, Trump passed the Secure 5G Act on March 23rd. Okay, today is the 27th of March. Like I said, it's 9.44. Okay, or it was when I started. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> I think the pollen is getting to me. We've got a lot of pollen coming out right now for lots of pretty flowers. All right, she says, please report on this, sis. No one is paying attention due to the fake virus, which I, I'm not so sure that it's fake, but I think that it's not what they're saying. If you listen to the mainstream media and believe their lies, you're going to not agree with that at all. But they are lying to you. The numbers are not what you think. They, if they are people dying, they're dying from H1N1 or just because they already had something going on. If they caught this coronavirus, I, I don't know. It's just, uh, there's just so many lies going on. You don't know what to believe, but I know that I do believe this is a live exercise and that it's what's going on is pretty much a hoax but they got to pull it off in order to d complete their exercise what better way to get these the different government uh, governments uh, you know you have a government in every state and some have different laws than others okay so they're unifying them by making this coronavirus numbers go up and up in every state. Anyway, so this, I don't know if it can be over by Easter. But I sure hope it is. But anyway, now I'm going to click on the link. <coughs> which is to the congress.gov. Alright, this is an official uh, .gov site. So, this is, um, okay, now, it is summary, S as in Sam, dot, 893, dash, 116th Congress, 2019 to 2020. Okay, then you can listen to this page. Or you can click on Bill Summaries, are authored by CRS, which I'm not sure what that means. But the House passed it on 3-11-2020. It's called the Secure 5G and Beyond Act of 2020. That means beyond 5G. What I shared with you yesterday, a person talking about 6G, 7G. All right. This bill requires the president in consultation with relevant federal agencies to develop a strategy to secure and protect U.S. fifth and future generations fifth and future generations 5G systems and infrastructure so YouTube uh, AI that's knocking out videos based on certain words I'm just reading what the Congress has voted on it is a bill and not a lie it is actual fact that Congress passed this so far it's going through such strategy shall one 
ensure the security of 5G wireless communication systems and infrastructure within the United States. Two, assist mutual defense treaty allies, comma, strategic partners, comma, and other countries in maximizing the security of 5G systems and infrastructure. And <clears throat> three, I wonder why they put a semicolon after infrastructure. Maybe it's a typo. And three, protect the competitiveness of U.S. companies. <clears throat> <coughs> Excuse me. Privacy of U.S. consumers and integrity of standards setting bodies. It's really tiny print, so I'm having trouble with it. Now, there's not anything else on here except a whole bunch of stuff you can click on. Ways to connect. There's a YouTube. Hmm. I wonder if I click on that, if this will all be in the YouTube video. Let's try it, shall we? Yeah, it opened up a new tab. How about that? There's actually a, a YouTube video um, channel from the Library of Congress, y'all. So all the acts or laws they sign and pass are in the Library of Congress. And you can see them for yourself on YouTube. Who knew? Congress.gov, the legislative process, and more. That's the video they have. Like when you first go to somebody's channel, they'll have a video they made that they want everybody to see. This is the legislative process and more. How they work, in other words. And, of course, it's going to be all cleaned up without Nancy Pelosi saying a bunch of mean stuff about President Trump. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to click off of that. So that's what you get to when you go to YouTube. All right, so anyway, that's all there is at the bottom. Now, when you go back up to the top, um, you can browse. Oh, you can sign in. So you can uh, support them and become a member um, of this site all right so i'm trying to think which link i clicked on yesterday there's one for sponsor we don't want that oh that was introduced on 327 wait a minute today's the 27th oh i'm sorry 327 2019 that was to senator Corman, Senator John Corman, Republican from Texas. All right. The committees are Senate, Commerce, Science, and Transportation. Okay. Latest action was 323-2020, became public law. Number 116-129. Um, gosh, it doesn't say a whole lot, does it? But it was just signed into law by the 116th Congress to secure 5G and, uh, and beyond Act of 2020. So I'll put that link in the description box. If you want to go read, read it and uh, see if you can find the link. I, I haven't seen anything worth cooking on. Okay, so basically it's just securing that uh, this country is going to run on 5G and more if it passes the Senate and the President. Because I think that's how it goes. Or is Congress, let's see, we've got to, Congress is, 
Yeah, it's House of Congress, then Senators, then the President. I'm pretty sure that's how it goes. I'm so sleepy, I can't think. So I'm going to end this right here. I'm going to say, oh, sorry, <laughs> I got my head at the bottom again. I'm going to say uh, bye for now, and um, I hope this will help people to realize what is coming with 5G, and what I put up yesterday will tell you what it has to do with the, um, the, f the uh, flu like illness that's going around okay that's how i'm gonna put it i pray that you will share this and help people to understand and they need to see that other one the one that wouldn't go up the one that was the second link in the uh video that was about um what satan said and then what Oh, come on. Let me just tell you. You may have missed it completely and you don't know what in the world I'm talking about. Let me pull up my channel. Okay. It's called Had to Share a Prophecy, which I put a question mark because I'm not sure you would call it a prophecy, from C.S. Lewis from 1942. He wrote that in 1942. Okay, so that's worth checking out. Okay, that's worth checking out. Okay, because it's really neat. All right, that I'll say bye for now. I'll talk to you later.